Okay, everyone, thanks for checking out my channel again. Just doing a one year update on this Craftsman thickness planer. Uh, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're considering buying one or possibly already have one. The reason I have this one is because I found it on sale. Uh, I paid uh, $259 for it. Uh, it was rather cheap. It's been decent. It does what it says it will do um, for the year I've had it now. I'm actually due to change the blades in it, uh, which is quite easy on this. All the maintenance on it's very easy. Some random blade changes and flipping them over, you occasionally have to vacuum it out and grease the, uh, the screws on it, the adjustment screws. That's about it. Uh, would I recommend this planer to anybody? No. Uh, even if you get it for a cheap price, no. Uh, it snipes very bad. The whole carriage head only has the two adjustment screws holding it. So as it feeds in, the board hits the first roller and it tilts back. And as it comes off and the board exits the first roller, it tilts forward and it leaves some snipe on both ends. A lot of people say, oh, you can just adjust the tables and get rid of that. No, you, you really can't. I've, I've tried so many times. I've also built a table extension that goes over it that's a good three feet long. That hasn't fixed it. it, it to the point, I actually just make all my projects about four inches longer. Uh, so I can simply just trim the snipe off. That said, for what I paid for it, I think it was $259 or $279. It was just a really good deal, caught my eye, and I went for it. I'm gonna turn you around here. This planer is very easy to work on. Um, it does come with a dust chute. I took mine off because unless you're running a vacuum on it or a dust collector, it just clogs. So I just let it all fly right out. Uh, to do any work to it, you just kind of take these hand screws out. It's very simple. This just pops right off. Remove that. And there you have access to your blades. And I am due to change my blades. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see that. Uh, because it's only a two blade, I don't know if the lighting's very good, but we'll see. Uh, they tend to chip very easily. Let me see if I can get a drop light in there for you. But other than that, it really isn't bad for the price, but hindsight, I would have saved an extra couple hundred dollars and gone a few steps up. So I'm not sure if you can really see those blades, but they chip quite badly. And a lot of that's because there's only two of them. And with only two, it, you know, makes two cuts per revolution, where as a three blade will make three. You know, it, it's okay. That, that's the only way to describe this planer. It's just okay. There's a new one that came out that I'm probably going to upgrade to relatively soon. It's actually a Hercules, uh, the Harbor Freight brand, but that has a, for one, it's three blades, but it has a carriage lock, a lever on the front that snaps down and prevents it from twisting as the board in feeds and out feeds. Uh, and that will prevent pretty much all the snipe on it. So would I recommend this planer? Well, if you get a really good deal used online or something like that, yeah, sure. Would I recommend you go to Lowe's and buy a new one right now? No, they're uh, $349 right now. And for an extra hundred, you can get one that's much better. But that said, I'll run a board through it just so you can get an idea of what it's like. Um, I'll pop this back on and I do apologize. I do need to change my blades. I do have the blades already to change. I uh, just need to kind of break down and do it. So let's give this a try. Shall we? Um, but yeah, maintenance on this is very easy. Man, I'm not going to run the dust chute because it doesn't work. <laughs> Unless you have a vacuum, it'll be clogged in three minutes. All right, this gets a little loud. But this is just a piece of pine. Uh, it's actually from a pallet. It's, it's pretty dirty. But I'll run it through on both sides uh, and I'll show you the snipe afterwards. And I'll just show you how it generally operates.
So there we go, a few passes on each end. Um, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Um, I usually use a board to make an extended table on it. But I don't know if you can actually see this on camera. But the snipe there is absolutely terrible. Can you see it now? Because that head shifts, it actually does it on both sides. It's not one table's off or the other one's off. Um, when I flip it around, it does it here too. Uh, very plain as day to see. And yes, this does need new blades. Um, there's a going in today, but notice the line there from a, a chip. But does it do its job? Absolutely. Um, this was a very rough cut board. Um, and now it's fairly smooth, smooth enough that I could sand it out. I'd probably give it another pass on each end. Um, it has some oil staining on it, but I mean, it's, it's usable now. So does it do its job? Yes. Is it worth $350? No. Is it worth $250 or maybe picking one up for $100 bucks used? Absolutely. Would I have bought it again, even with the price I paid? No. I would have saved another week or two and just gotten a better one, a DeWalt or the new Hercules or even the Wen with the spiral head, even the Rigid for that matter. But it does do its job, it does exactly what it says it will do, and it does it fairly well. Just count on cutting two inches off each end when you're done. Because no matter what you do, you really just can't get it not to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. A little insight if you're looking to buy one. I do see them pop up used on Marketplace for fairly cheap quite often. So, you know, keep these things in mind. If you can splurge for one that's a little bit better, a little more expensive, do it. If this is your only option, I mean, it's not a terrible one. It's just not a good one. All right, guys, have a great day.